everybody, it's Kenzie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be doing a head-to-head -head video on two popular face masks. I know I realize I look like a sewer rat today. All I have on is eyeliner and my brows are filled in, but everything else is just been, it's, it's just been kind of a lazy day today. Having this lazy day was inspired by this long weekend I've had preparing for graduation, so today I just watched 13 Reasons Why on Netflix which I am not a fan of that show. I'm just going to go ahead and say follow me on Twitter and you can see my 13 Reasons Why rant, Kenzie Hutch on Twitter. So anyways, I got the inspiration to do this video. I have these two face masks that are often competitive on the internet. The first one, if you follow me on my Facebook page, you will be familiar with. It is the Hell Pour Cleanup Mask. I did a Facebook Live application video with this mask. The second one I'm using, I have not done a video with yet, it is the Purifying Peel-Off Mask. I actually got this on Groupon for a two-for-one. So basically, I'm going to put both of these on. I'm going to put one on one side, one on the other, and we're going to see which one's the best. For both of these, you're definitely going to need a headband. I got this from Dollar General for like $3. Um, these masks will rip out your hair, so make sure it's all... It's my little Carl. Say hi. He's my baby. It's my baby. After you get all of your hair out of your face, um, wash your face really well because it actually pulls product better out of your face when your face is clean. So the first mask I'm going to apply is the Hellpore Cleanup Mask. And I can't read the directions because they're all in Korean, actually. But I looked them up, and all you have to do is apply it to your face, wait for it to dry, and then peel it off. Easy as that. So first off, just about this product, I want to say I love the packaging. The cartoons on it are adorable. They did really well. I just think this is so cute. So the consistency of this is really thick, um, and it smells like paint, kind of. It doesn't smell the best. I don't really know what to compare. So the next one is, like, way thicker. I feel like I'm putting tar on my hand, and it's actually, like, kind of hard to spread. And it smells way worse than Okay, so once both masks are applied, I will just wait until they're both dry. And I will come back and peel them off whenever it's time for that. I can barely move my face. This gets so tight. Oh, man. What are you doing? What you doing? It's a baby. Say hello. Say hello. So when these start getting ready to peel off, they start lifting up, like right here. Uh, this one lifts up a lot better than this one. They both take longer to dry in like softer areas, like the middle of my cheeks, they're still wet. But everywhere else, they're finally starting to be like really dry. And So I'm going to start slowly trying to peel it off. Oh, shit. And... The black one comes off in a lot more pieces. The gray one comes off in like one big piece almost. No, the black one doesn't lift up near as much. Oh god. The black one hurts. The black one definitely hurts way worse than the other one. What makes this one hurt so bad is that it pulls up all of, like, the hairs on your face, like, the natural protective hair. So if you do get this black one, I do not suggest using it very often. Oh, my goodness. Ah! <laughs> my cheeks are so red just from that. Oh, my goodness. Ugh, almost done. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Ooh, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Right next to the hairline really sucks. Like through by my eyes. Oh man, that hurts. Now it's just all getting these little pieces off. Which I just like kind of roll up instead of just trying to peel it off because they're so little I usually can't grab them very well. So I'm going to go wash off the rest of it. Um, 
This side feels a lot softer, but my cheeks kind of feel a lot more irritated. Okay, so I just got done washing off my face, and I don't know if you can see, this side is a lot more irritated than this side. Yeah, this side is a lot softer, but it's because it ripped out, like, my top layer of skin. So I don't recommend using this product very much if you buy it. My pores on my nose and right here it looks significantly smaller than before and this is like my big problem area with how big my pores are. I think just out of safety wise I would use the health pore over this one just because it seems kind of to be a lot more damaging. So after that mask usually makes me feel kind of itchy so I go in and I use the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Cream which is my absolute favorite. Yeah, but that's basically it. So out of these two, I definitely recommend the Hellpore Cleanup Mask. I feel like it's a lot more gentle on your face. Shills Peel Off Black Mask. I definitely don't recommend using it very often if you do get it because you will tear up your face. Like this side of my face is way more irritated and like kind of hurts compared to this one. This one is red, but it doesn't hurt at all. So like any other products that I recommend, do your own research, spend money on things that you think will be good for you and not just because they're trendy. Thanks for watching one of my videos. I will leave my subscribe button somewhere on this video in this area. Uh, I will leave all my social media handles below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to spend New Year pets. Don't drink and drive. All that good stuff. Thanks, guys. Mwah.